Hi, welcome to my computer system here. We're going to build another Arch Linux B ISO. On Arch Linux, we give you the power to build the ISO yourself, the way you see fit. You decide what goes on the ISO. We can never build an ISO that will suit, suit everybody. We've made videos about this one, this one, and we're at awesome. There's already an extended video that's out there, but we'll just go alphabetically from now, from awesome till the end. All videos will be updated and all articles have been updated already. And the idea is that we are building, um, well, an Arclix BI, so we do not talk anymore about full, minimal or bare. It's just Arclix BI, so, and during uh, the installation it can add more stuff to it, more software. But of course, this is a building ISO. The point is you should not download it, you should build it. So it means that you can actually include software already straight from uh, the package list. So we're going to copy this. We're going to build Arco Linux Awesome. You go to your desktop, you go to the open terminal here, Control Shift V, get it in. This is the only thing you need to build an ISO. Now it's up to you to decide whether you like our list of packages, the Lego blocks you want to install on the system, yes or no. It's all in here. Some of them just keep them in there, but the stuff you do know and do recognize, like for instance, Firefox is an application you'll know. Do you want it? Don't you want it? It's all up to you. A hashtag in front of it and you will not have it installed on your ISO. It will not be on your system, future system. Right, so it's simple as that. But Inkscape, you are quite creative, and Inkscape, you do want to have it. And LibreOffice, yeah, it's for work. Okay, we need it. That's it. That's all it needs. A few hashtags gone or added, and it's gonna be a completely different ISO. It's gonna be your ISO, and that's the point why we are sharing all this. You should build them. That's the Arch Linux B approach. You go to the installation scripts, and there are two things, two choices, and the normal choice would be run number thirty. The idea of having number 40 is the fact that uh, at some point in time um, I was set on small band and I was waiting and waiting for the downloads to, to come in. Now, this one is not going to clean out our VAR cache Pac-Man. So this one, number 40, is not going to clean it out, meaning it's going to download everything again, again and again and again. So running 30 every time, if you're building like 18 ISOs that we have now currently, February 2020. Why would you download uh, everything again 18 times? So just download it once, clean everything up once, 30, and then continue with number 40 all the time with, if you want to install or build 18 ISOs. So that's what uh, you can do. You can manage your bandwidth volume and stop using number 30 and start using number 40 which of course is faster because you're basically telling him well never mind do not go to internet do not clean this one out for cache pack and package and just start with the packages you already have and if at the meantime i've built article x iso article x d iso article x b extended iso so basically we have pretty much everything already on our own system so it's going to check and um, see well everything is already here i'm just gonna here's the checking part i'm just going to install stuff so your installation if you already built something your installation is faster if you use number 40. i'm gonna wait for everything to install it's only 910 packages for awesome and then uh, i'll be back maybe a small a message before i forget to tell um, it is, it is important to join us on Discord because Discord is for us a channel for the builders. If at some point in time Calamaris is not booting up again, as hey, that's strange, Calamaris is not, is not working, then you get the sign, no Arclonix building today, and you have to wait till everything is updated on our repos. So um, if something happens, well, report it on Discord because we are not building ISOs every day, but um, we'll put this image on the Arclix B channel in Discord saying no Arclix building today until it's fixed. And let's wait now for the ISO to build.
pausing. All right, it's finished. It tells me I have 1.6 gigabytes. Arclinks B, awesome. Version 2212, you know, it's just a number. It means 2020, February 12th version. You go to Eric and you go to Arclinks B out and I've been building some other stuff as well. So extended is from a previous video and these guys as well. So Arclinks B awesome is here and we have the package list that's there all alphabetically with a number behind it. So you can always compare with last month, for example, or another ISO and see what the difference is, what the package, what, what Lego blocks are different. Here are some checkups. So the checksums, the general uh, way to figure out if the ISO is corrupt or not corrupt. And that's uh, all automatically done with the scripting. That's neat to have for seat host. So basically I'm finished. This is it. We have an, an, an ISO to burn on USB or to try out on uh, VirtualBox first. And then next time around, uh, if you see I made a typo or something else, you say I'm going to run them 40 because you have all the new stuff in here and you don't need to re-download everything. All right, have fun.